Hey everyone, Tom Trouser here, and it's time for an upgrade. As you could tell, I'm using low lighting settings for my webcam, and while it looks okay, it's pretty grainy. Let's do an upgrade, shall we? I got myself a Logtech Litra Glow. It's it's a light, it's a light bar basically. So yeah, let's light up my face and see if this actually does any improvement. I'm I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. I've returned. So let's see if we can get this going. All right. So let's mess with some settings. First off, okay, so currently right now, I have low light compensation on. When I turn it off, now you get the natural 60 FPS, and you don't have that weird, I mean, you still have that weird haze to it, but I, I look normal. Where if I turn it on, I notice that there's a definitely a drop in the 60 FPS. Okay, with that said... Ooh, there we go. It's a little bright. It might be also placement too. Whoop. All right, let's move you there. Sorry for the zoom in. And let's just, let's just fiddle with it, you know? How's that look? Man, I look bright as all hell. Like, I want to be able to see me. Okay, so that's exactly 100. I have to get used to it. Let's see. What if I did that? And instead of directly on me, like if the focal point's over here, Because I just need a little bit of a bright source. Okay. And then... Let's do some presets. You let me know. This is at 50. Alright, so this is how it looks like at 50. I may go down to 25. Let's go 25. So that's 25, which is still a bit dark, in my opinion. I mean, that's 50. That looks good. Let's go... Yeah, let's be in between 50 and 75. Let's go 66. I like 66. 66 seems good. It's not super bright and killing my eyes. And like I said, less of that uh, haze effect with the low lighting. Let's just crank it up all the way. I'm going to blind myself. Ah! Now you really can see my details. Holy shit, this is bright. This is at 250. This is too bright. That's 150. God damn. I did pass 125. That's 100. I'm just passing 75 now. Yeah, I think 66 seems good. I like it. Now, for temperature. Maybe go a little cold? Because that light being... Actually... That might be what's throwing it off. If I just ran this light source. Only this light source. Eh, let's see here. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad at 66. Yeah, because then that's when the... That's when that kicks in. So 66 might be my sweet spot if I have the lamp on or not. Because this is, this is warm. Right? 
and this is cold. I mean, I'd probably go a little warm with the 66. I think I like it. God, I've been rambling on too long. I'm, I'm trying to review this tech. I don't know whether I should get two of them. I'm glad I only did one because I was actually contemplating getting two. Although the second one would be hard to reach to my right because the wire is only so long. Unless I had a longer USB-C to USB-A cable, which I don't have on hand. This is the only one I have. So, yeah. I think that looks good. Trying something new. Trying to improve the quality of the show. Or whatever. Content. That's it. Not show. It's content. Yeah. So, going forward, whether I'm streaming or recording, we'll have a better source of light. Which was good. Hmm. Okay. So, that's my review of this. The Litra Glow. Glad I didn't get two. I only got one. But I got this for you guys. I, I got this to improve the overall camera when recording and filming and streaming because I've noticed even my most recent seven days to die video the camera gets a little pixelated at times especially low lighting with the FPS of the game so hoping this is an improvement I have no idea I won't know till we actually run it and test it so all right I'm rambling see you guys in the next video the next video should be seven days to die where I struggle to find cooking pot and then realize oh wait the trader had a cooking pot and i was just too dumb to realize i had coin to go buy it bye bye for now